Hey guys, Jake from Swell Wake Surf here. Behind me we have this 2006 Mastercraft Mars Star 215V and we are going to be doing some upgrades to it. Uh, this is one of our projects this winter and we will be adding a new tower to it along with the racks as well as a bimney. It will be getting gator step throughout the carpet area of the boat. We are going to pull out the snap in carpet that's there and replace that with the gator step. We will be putting a ballast system in it as it currently has no ballast system at all. It will be getting a surf prop, fresh air exhaust, and a new sound system as well including a brand new subwoofer to go along with the new head unit that's getting put in there. So follow along as we tackle this project. It's going to be really cool. It's a cool boat that's in fantastic condition for what year it is and it's going to be really cool to see how it goes from what it is now to what it's going to be when we're finished with it. So stick around and make sure to follow along as we upgrade this Mastercraft. And today we're going to be installing our fresh air exhaust system on our 2006 Mastercraft Mari Star 215V. Um, as you can see we've got some of the parts laid out here. The new exhaust tips as well as the new fittings and the brackets. And we're just going to be using a drill a 5 16 ratchet, um, some other hand tools possibly to get everything to fit correctly, but these two should be able to help us cover it. We'll probably use a level to make sure everything's for, uh, good at the end, but I'll walk you through all of that as we're doing each one of these steps. We've got our instructions here from Fresh Air Exhaust. They're super simple to follow along with and we'll be going through those. Um, we're gonna start off by removing the swim deck here and I'll walk you through that process. All right guys, as you can see, we got our swim deck off and now we're gonna go ahead and remove the rubber flappers on these exhaust outlets here. All right, we got those rubber flappers off. I'm gonna just set those aside. All right, so now that we've got that removed, we can see here on our new exhaust flange here that we've got four screw outlets, two in the top, two in the bottom, and there is six on this outlet here, but we're just gonna be removing, since we already moved the top two for the flapper, we're gonna be removing the top two that line up with the, um, or the bottom two that line up with the bottom two on this new outlet, and we'll just be putting some clear silicone around the cork border here, putting clear silicone um, in the screw holes as well. And we'll be just inserting that right back into where it came from. All right, so for our bottom piece here, it actually did come with some new hardware. We're gonna be using two of the new screws that came with the fresh air exhaust for the bottom holes. Um, these ones were shorter and so it's gonna give us a little bit more grip when putting in that, uh, the new exhaust tip on. Uh, we will reuse the flapper screws cause they are long enough to um, hold that in and so we don't need to use new ones for that. I'm gonna put two of the washers on here that it came with, one on each screw. And then we will use our clear silicone. I'm gonna dry. I'm just gonna clear up the surface here quick. So let me silicone it. It's got a nice clean surface to adhere to. Before we put this on, I'm going to put some. All right, so what we did here was we put some silicone in the screw holes that we took out. Uh, we put a silicone bead around the cork 
here, so that's going to seal that up. Um, and now we're just going to re screw this in. All right, guys, we're going to be doing the same process on this exhaust outlet over here. It's going to be removing those two bottom screws. Once again, those ones are shorter, so we're going to swap them out for ones that are a little bit longer. We're going to clean up this area. All right, next in our process here, we are going to be adding on our hoses and our hose clamps to adjust for adding the new FAE. So these are just gonna slide over these new tips. And then we've got our hose clamps here. So each side is going to get two hose clamps. Now we can bring over our new exhaust here and we can prep these. And what we're gonna wanna do here is just uncover the ends of this here. We wanna leave this all wrapped in plastic until we're fully finished. So that way uh, we don't scratch it at all. All right, so now we've got the ends of those uncovered enough to slide them in here. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, now before I tighten anything down, I'm gonna take some measurements here to make sure we're even on both sides. I'm gonna measure from the boat. So here we're sitting about nine and a quarter. Same on the side, looks pretty good. All right. So now that I've got all of that in there nice, we're gonna tighten some of these hose clamps down. Not necessarily all the way, just enough to hold things in place while we get the rest of this stuff installed. All right, guys, we are moving on to our next step here in our fresh air exhaust install. And what we are going to be doing is installing this mounting bracket. Uh, it comes custom to fit to our drain hole here, and it's going to use these four screws to help mount this bracket here. So we're just going to remove these screws, uh, put this up to it, put those screws back in with some silicone to help seal it up. And yeah, we'll be on to our next step after that. All right, so we got all four of those screws out. We have our mounting bracket. It's gonna go like this. Uh, and so now I'm just gonna grab some silicone.
All right, so we measured out our line here at nine and a half inches. We got a little score mark there, so I'm just gonna cut this off now so we can get in place and get that hole where we want to. And then we'll cut it down a little bit shorter after that. All right, guys, we're cutting bar number two here. Uh, this one we're just doing a nine and a quarter. Uh, same thing. We're just getting it uh, ready to use in there. All right, guys, so now that we've got our crossbars cut here, um, we just set them in place on top of our bracket and put these screws in snugly, not like tightly, just finger tight to kind of give us a picture of what we're going to be dealing with. So now I'm going to crawl underneath and line these up and just mark them with a paint marker as to where our hole is going to go so that we can screw these into the bracket. Um, and then we'll pull them back off and drill those holes out. <laughs> All right, so now we've got those holes marked. We are gonna pull those out, drill those holes, and then cut back our bars to 5 eighths of an inch from the edge of the hole. All right, guys, so we have our two brackets here. I did mark them with an S and a P for our starboard and our port side on the bottom. And then we've got our center holes here that we're gonna be drilling into. And I'm just gonna use a punch real quick to make a mark. So that way when we start drilling, we're not slipping all over the place. Now I'm just gonna grab our drill here. It's perfect. Okay, so we got our hole started. I'm gonna clamp it down so that I don't have to worry about it sliding all over the place. I'm just going to check the width of that hole so it does fit in we're going to go one more just so we don't strip out the threads at all when we're tightening that down so as you can see we've got our top hole drill there puts our bolt nice we're going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and punch the hole on this side. I'm gonna clamp that down. So we just finished that up. We've got our hole drilled through to both sides. Pretty even there. We'll end up measuring out about a 5 eighths inch from the outside diameter of that hole and just cutting it the rest of this off. So it looks like we got everything to fit there. It's gonna bolt up nicely. I didn't tighten it down all the way 
because we're going to still take these off and cut them back to be a little bit shorter. But everything looks great and it fits pretty well and so we'll do that and then we'll tighten everything up and then we'll be done with this project. All right, so we've got these both marked at 5 eighths of an inch here. We're going to cut those down. I did mark them port side and starboard side so that we know where they go back on when we're done with this. All right, guys, so we officially have everything cut down to size. We filed the ends that we cut and we put our rubber caps on. All four of those, they came with this kit. Uh, I have them marked so we know this one's port side and this one's starboard side. So we're just gonna go ahead and put those in now and tighten them down. We can use the nylock nuts now instead of the regular nuts since we're, we already did a test fit and we know it's gonna fit well in there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so we have both of those brackets secure in place now, fully mounted here. We are going to just tighten down our hose clamps all the way so that everything uh, sits nice and tight where it's sitting now. Alright guys, we officially have everything tightened down on this fresh air exhaust. As you can see, it's not going anywhere. It's fully mounted to the boat. It's in there really steady. Um, now we just have to put in our new stainless steel mufflers. And we'll be done with this project. Alright guys, the next uh, step in our fresh air exhaust system here is going to be removing this old muffler and we're going to be replacing it with a metal one. So. In order to do that, we've got 12 hose clamps to undo that'll allow us to pull off the piping and get this thing out of here. There's two and two on the top, two and two on the bottom of this, and then underneath we have uh, four more, one, two on each side. And you can't see them right now, but you can reach around and feel them with your hand. So I'm just gonna use a removal tool, get those loosened up, um, we'll slide those down and get this pulled out of here.
Get this muffler off. It takes a little bit of force to get it off of these tubes, but. All right guys, so we just got this muffler pulled out here. It did take a little bit more brute force than what we were first intending, but we ended up just loosening all those hose clamps, um, used some flathead screwdrivers to kind of push down on the piping, the rubber piping that holds it in place. And we're able to kind of wedge it out using some wood blocks and whatnot, and just, you know, having to shift it around in the small cavity space there. So just uh, be patient and use your tools and uh, just slowly wiggle it out of place. It has to kind of come back and up as you pull it out. So that's what you can do to get that out. Um, next, we'll be moving on to the next steps of our fresh air exhaust process. And yeah. Hey guys, so we're gonna finish up our fresh air exhaust install here. We have our stainless steel mufflers. Uh, that will be replacing the previous fiberglass muffler that was here. It will fit in right here. As you can see, it angles up here from our bottom pipe and up into our top one. And we, all we have to do is use our previous rubber hose connector to uh, connect those up. So we're just going to go ahead and Loosen these clamps up, slide it into our bottom rubber hose here, slide into our top rubber hose here, and then we'll get everything tightened down. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take our bottom end here, just push it down into our rubber hose on the bottom. All right, so now that we have that rubber hose in place, we're gonna go ahead and get our existing rubber hose put on the top here and then slid onto our exhaust. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and slide that hose on before I stick it down in there. It'll make it a little bit easier to install. Hey guys, so we were having some trouble with our exhaust pipe here. Uh, I tried putting it in while this was attached to the exhaust outlet on the boat. I tried putting it in while we had this rubber hose connection connected to the header um, and none of it was working out. And so what I've actually found is going to work out best here. Let me get the rest of this off. Is if I put this down in the hull, kind of push this and bounce it so that it gets flat so that I can slip this upper pipe onto our header. And then once it's on the header, I can push it up and uh, push it into our exhaust outlet on the outside part of the boat here. I'll show you how I'm gonna do that, um, but it should go pretty straightforward now. On the other side, uh, there's a lot more room, so we should have room to swing it in if we need to, otherwise we'll execute it the same way we did. The way I line this up is there's a blue line on this hose uh, fitting here, and so I just put that on, lined up my pipe, and then based off of where this blue hose lined up facing the back of the boat, I was able to insert my rear fitting on here that goes to the exhaust outlet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on now. All right, so I'm gonna slide this all the way to the bottom. Make sure everything's out of the way. So we've got that flat against the bottom. I'm just gonna bounce this until I get the lip over the edge here, which I just did. I'm just going to keep moving that rubber pipe.
All right, so as you can see, we now have that pipe fully fitted along our header here. And so now what we need to do is come down to the bottom here and pull up and over and get our pipe to slide over the exhaust tip here. All right, so all we ended up having to do there was twist our pipe a little bit to get it to slide up here on our uh, exhaust a little bit more. And now everything fits great. We've got enough traction on here to close down our pipes, enough traction here, and enough traction on our exhaust tip down there. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten all these hose clamps down and then we will be done with installing these uh, stainless steel exhaust mufflers. All right, we got these four bands up here tightened down. Now we're just gonna go down and tighten up our bands down here. All right guys, so we're able to wiggle that one on. We're moving on to the opposite side now and we're gonna do the exact same thing. As you can see, I've already got my pipes fitted. And so we're just gonna go ahead and slip that around the mouth of the bottom there and then wheel it into place. All right guys, so that wraps up everything with our fresh air exhaust install. Uh, we got the exhaust installed underneath the swim deck. Uh, you saw the process for that pretty straightforward other than having to cut those support bars to length and then probably the toughest part about this was installing those stainless steel mufflers um, removing that old muffler you just got to make sure to take your time and uh, use some force to get those rubber pipes off don't be afraid to you know give it a little kick or use a mallet to help get those out just make sure you to use your time so that way you don't break anything along the way. Um, and when installing those, make sure you line everything up first. Uh, I even trimmed off a little bit of the rubber hose on top and that helped us to slide those in a little bit easier. You did, we did get a little bit more extra length with those new stainless steel mufflers so it allowed us to trim off some of that rubber hose. Um, next, we'll be moving on to our tall tower installation and that's gonna be a pretty cool process so make sure you stick around um, for that and we'll show you how to install a tower on your boat hit like and subscribe uh, we're gonna keep doing projects on this boat we also have a lot of content on tiktok so make sure to follow us on tiktok at swell wake surf and uh, we do post some other content there as well so keep following along